Capricorn, this is your forecast for the month of January 2018. This is a general reading for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Rising, or Capricorn Moon. For a more rounded overview, watch your rising and moon sign also. You can join me on Facebook and Instagram for daily insights on tarot and astrology, as well as my pay-per-view channel, vimeo.com slash thealchemistastrologer, where you can find on-demand pages for love, finance, and other readings. Your weekly readings will always be free here on YouTube, but if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'm now at patreon.com slash thealchemistastrologer, and all of this information is down below in the description box. Now, the second week, you have this King of Cups, and so this could be water energy that you're dealing with. could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, or just the traits of this king. Now, in his positive, this could be, you know, maybe this is your father. This is somebody who's very cultured. Uh, you know, they're very emotionally stable. They make you feel good because you trust them. They're easy to get along with. They listen to you. They care about you. They care about your interests. They're tuned in. Uh, so this could be a good friend, somebody that is in touch with their emotions. And this is somebody who's willing to protect you. He's looking out for your interests and he doesn't mind taking on extra responsibility. He may have ties to something creative or something spiritual or something that deals with justice. Uh, and again, maybe he's advising you. He could be a professional, somebody who is mature, not just in age, but emotionally so. So he may work in a service capacity of some sort as an advisor. Maybe he's a doctor or he's a judge. He's a lawyer. He's a counselor. Or perhaps, again, he's just a friend of yours who cares about you. So this could be a week that focuses on support, giving that or receiving it, uh, responsibility, concern for others, getting good advice. Some of you may be involved in some kind of negotiation. It may be important to listen or offer comfort in some way. This is about acting in your honor. And remember last week, there was a temptation to sort of bend the rules a bit so this is about being supportive and making sure that things are just and honorable and, you know, holding on to those old fashioned values. And it could also be a week where you just really realize how much you feel for somebody. Now, last week, it could have been excessive emotion. Maybe there's just strong, intense desire, intense attraction. Maybe something is very seductive. Or it could be that you were closed off last week or someone connected to you and now you're starting to think about that. You're starting to want that emotional support. Uh, you know, you've been going in alone for a while. Maybe you, you didn't even realize how closed off you were. And it could be that you're having a connection with somebody that taps into that need to be with somebody you realize how you've been closed off, and you also realize how very much you care about somebody, maybe more than you even want to admit. And probably this is something that's mutual between you and another person. But if this king is acting in his shadow, then this is a manipulator. He's that player. He's a con artist. He knows how to pull on your heartstrings. He knows how to seduce you. And he may want love, but he just doesn't know how to go after it. Or again, this could be somebody that you've connected to. Last week, you had this strong wish. You wanted to get something. Now he's shown up and you're not sure you wanted this. You have a connection with him in whatever kind of way. And now you wake up and wish that you hadn't. So this could be, you know, being put on a pedestal and then somebody kicking that stool and falling from grace. 
or maybe somebody's giving away all of their power. They're, you know, giving away their power to their emotions. This, if this is a player, maybe this is somebody who is unfaithful. Or if somebody's closed off, maybe someone is emotionally oblivious. Uh, maybe even feeling victimized. Somebody is insincere. And last week you were advised to get down to the bottom of something because something is not what it appears to be. Somebody's putting on a game face, for better or for worse. Either they really care and for whatever reason don't want you to know it or vice versa, or they really don't give a damn. And that's what it is. If that's the case, then this is going to be a week where your connections are very complicated and less rewarding. Now, you know, somebody may be only looking out for themselves, but whatever it is, this is a week where you have very strong desires. You want to be noticed by somebody. You want to impress somebody. Or, you know, something has been going a particular way and it it could stand some improvement and you feel strongly that things need to change. They need to get better. Or you are protecting something of yours. You're like, this is mine and I'm closing off and you're not getting to it. Maybe you're in defense mode. Or there's some intense desire given some things that have happened that you want to destroy something. Because you feel you can and that you should and that it's your right to. It all depends on what your mood is this week. But this is going to center around a message, either someone coming in as a messenger or you receiving something, but some kind of revelation is going to come to you. And it may be something that is discreet or behind the scenes. Uh, it could be some spirit messages that you're getting. And so you have to make sure that you're not closing off to your intuition or your creativity. This is a week where you need to get in touch with you and your own self-awareness, and that may mean some contemplation, listening to that inner voice. 